Now, one other one that I think, when I think about commercial then, is true line of business applications. And here, you can take a vertical scenario by industry or horizontal. You can think ERP, CRM, supply chain management, SCM, et cetera. And so I thought we'd take a horizontal solution, in this case, ERP. Our friends, uh, ISVs in, in the Northwest called Acumatica, who build a cloud-based ERP, why don't you show us what we have here, John? Yeah, so many of these vertical systems at the core have reporting. And here, what we see is a typical sales order uh, summary. And you know, it's got a lot of information, but... As usual, it's close, John, but I need a couple of changes. Yeah, and normally, as a developer, uh, often those changes are things that I would have to go in and, and do relatively manually, code it up, add it into the list of reports that these folks can do, and that means that I'm not necessarily working on the broader aspects of the, of the project. Reporting can take a lot of effort. So we were having that conversation with Acumatica. How could we leverage what's happening in the cloud, this new distributed world, to take what they've already got and make it much better? And so we did this pretty cool thing, which is we added to their query system the ability to expose all their data out to the world through the internet, through REST interfaces. Uh, it's called OData. And the way we did that was actually pretty straightforward. Um, we've got well, what you're seeing here is the actual code inside of Acumatica. They have an object relational model. They hooked up a simple library that exposed that ORM through OData. And let me show you kind of how cool that is. Um, here's the Power BI Builder, which is one of the tools that can consume OData. Lots of other things, Excel and other stuff can do that. All I need to do is I just click on this and I go add an OData feed and I connect to it type in that URL to the Acumatica data, and off we go with now the new Power BI tools. In fact, I think we've got it running over here, yeah. so you can... Uh, so we might as well have some fun since we have all this great new hardware to play with. Um, now, as the end user, I really don't care what John's doing. I just want to be able to get access to the information. And so I've got a Surface Hub here. Oops, sorry, let me reboot it. Um, so I've got my Surface Hub here. I have a, a smooth inking on this, so I could choose to type in or... But you know what, I'm just going to go up here and I'm actually just going to ask for um, sales by city. Let that come up. And you know what? I'm curious. I'm going to do, you know, I'd like to see that as a map. So I'm going to say as map. And you'll notice it just automatically goes. So for me as the end user, I can sort of pick the reports I want. I can zoom in if I want. It's a pretty cool way to take what John's working on and not have to go back and ask him over and over again for reports. Now, John, this is pretty cool. What I saw yesterday in Satya's section was he also hooked into the Office Graph. So what I'd really like to do is see this by user. In fact, I'd like to see this by your team. Yeah, so really what we're talking about is doing dynamic joins across different data sets using the OData protocol underneath the hood. What I've got here on the screen is a very simple single page web app. Uh, this is the kind of thing you would do if you were talking to a Facebook API, anything. And it's pretty straightforward. You do a redirection to a login page, you get back a token, you use that token to access information. But here's where the real work occurs. Uh, we're going out to that new office graph. We're going to graph.windows.net. We're taking our me token, and notice I'm looking at the direct reports. So let's actually just run that. Um, and what we can see here is uh, we want to go retrieve these things. Uh, it reaches out, it gets the data, we've printed out the data, and as you can see, here's the JSON that comes back. This is pretty clean, pretty easy to parse stuff. Anybody in almost any language can take advantage of this. But again, this has been put out in a way that's consumable by a lot of products. It's got this OData characteristic. In fact, we've also linked that one up to the same Power BI, so right. now we can do those queries. Yes, yeah, so you see the Microsoft Graph API, we've hooked it up as well. So here I can now go orders by manager. And there we see the orders by manager. And you'll notice this is, the, this is the true magic of software. John is selling more than anyone else. And all of us know in this room that John is not selling anything to do with software right now. He's completely doing the coding. So I like the fact that magic of software allows him to sell more. And really that works out as a nice connection between the end user uh, and John on the, on, the back, on the back end of the computer. In the future, we're really excited about the opportunities that Microsoft's bringing to the table through some of these Azure services.